FTW Broadcasting here for the win. We bring you hot StarCraft 2 action. My name is AWOL, and joining me, as always, is my boy Danny. We are a proud partner with the UEN.com and the map you're looking at right now, Shakuras Plateau. We downloaded this one directly from ESL.eu because we are now proud broadcasting partners with Electronic Sports League. You guys rock, and this is the ESL Go For SC2 November Finals. Cream of the crop. My pick is down here in the bottom right-hand corner. Goody, he's rocking out the Purple Terran. Pulled down last game because of the superior number of Siege Tanks. However, Danny's pick, a dangerous Terran player himself. Tarson, he's rocking out the Red Terran. Yeah, absolutely. Tarson did fall last game, but I'm thinking he's just going to turn it around right here with his own superior number of Siege Tanks. I'm sad that they spawned kind of a... Uh, Caddy corner to each other here because it, it means we're probably not going to see the awesome death match in the little smiley face zone of death down here or up here, which I just love to see. It's one of my favorite parts and what's leading this map to be one of my favorites. But in the meantime, we do see the, uh, I mean, I think we're going to see what we saw last game, which was the heavy marines and siege tanks with a, you know, a splattering of Vikings and Ravens as they play out because I think that works effectively for both players. What Tarson needs to do this game is either either A, find that expansion and for good that early expansion for Goody and don't let himself get out expanded or expand himself. You know, both uh, you know, six and one half dozen and the other stop the opponent from expanding or expand yourself. Better yet if you can do both, but but either one I think would have got him the victory last game. And so we will see how it turns out this way. We see the openings are pretty much exactly the same for, for both players as they were last game. Aim gas at uh, 13, racks at 11, probably orbital command at 15. We are going to see the uh, SCBs are coming around. They, I don't even know if they saw each other. They, I think they just passed through the brush at right the same time. These are very unsocial uh, SCBs. We have not seen a fist bump in this game or the last game, which hurts me, hurts me deep inside. And they are they are checking the wrong spots. They expect they're checking the exact opposite. I think they're hoping for the kill zone, smiley face, or smiley face kill zone of death, with kill zone, death zone, whatever. The I've de lost the control. Death zone. The death zone is what we called it last time. I yeah, that, that's good. I want to incorporate the smiley face because look at it. I mean, isn't that awesome? Oh god, it makes us really happy when they use that. Uh, especially with this heavy siege tank usage, that'd be super exciting. Oh no, the SCV of Tarson running directly into that Marine, and the uh, SCV of Goody running directly into the Tarson's Marine, but Goody's Marine was more of a ninja because he slipped right past his defenses. Gonna take a look around and see basically what he sees in his own base. And uh, no, he's m taking minerals. Oh, he took minerals uh, from Tarson's line and got punished immediately by that Marine. Well, as he deserved, because that was really unsportsmanlike. Those were not his minerals. He did not have claim to them, and that was just wrong. Those eight minerals, I mean, they could obviously make the game aim because aim later up, uh, but just definitely like that. Very unsportsmanlike. Like we see the reaver or the reaper from uh, Tarson, which we saw last game. He likes the reaper to get out there, there to use as a scout. We saw the differences we, we saw with Goody is Goody really liked the hellions to scout and harass with, and they, uh, I hate to admit it, but the hellions were much, much more effective if than that reaper. So we'll see if he goes with the. Hellions again. We see a bunker going up for Goody. It's almost like he's anticipating some sort of early pressure from Tarson. I don't know what would give him that idea. Perhaps what he saw in the base. He's like, he didn't like it. He wants to, uh, you know, avoid the early pressure. We see a second Rax going down for Tarson. So maybe he is planning an early uh, heavy marine push. So oh, deciding maybe he doesn't want to go siege tank versus siege tank. And as he puts down a third Rax, yeah, we are going to see probably a heavy, heavy uh, timing push having to do with when those stem packs are completed. Maybe... Uh, Maybe he'll go for uh, level one weapon upgrades. You see that a decent bit. And meanwhile, he's just pumping out those those marines. So, oh, good, uh, good anticipation by Tarsus get, or by I'm sorry, by Goody getting that barracks out. That should definitely help against the timing push. We'll see uh, exactly how this plays out, though. We will see how it plays out as a f uh, starport and factory have been dropped by Goody, but the expansion for Tarson is already dropped here, upgrading that right now to an orbital command. So uh, that might propel him for to an early economic advantage as uh, just... Uh, as uh, Tech Lab and Reactor are being dropped here on these additional Raxes, and uh, I think he's just dropping these to have an early force to maybe deal with his own timing push, and uh, I'd like to see how this economic advantage does come into play for Tarson, and uh, Goody, uh, Goody getting scanned right there, so his the secret's out on his starport as well as his factory, and uh, two Banshees 
coming out right now for Goody. I do like to see that, especially on a map like this. You can just harass like crazy behind those mineral lines because behind the mineral lines are crazy looking Shakruas plateau plants that you can go hide behind. And uh, really, medevacs and banshees are going to be a huge factor, in my opinion, on this map just because it's so large and there are so many edges you can play to use that air advantage. Yeah, that is a excellent point that or we did not actually see any uh, medevacs out of either player from last game, which is surprising with the uh, you know the heavy marines in their uh, build. But they did go more more about the siege tanks, and they seem to focus mostly on the siege warfare, particularly Goody. He's now sending his banshee out to spin around. He's gonna wait for that cloak to finish and then swing right. He's got right on into that mineral line and just really wreck havoc. Hopefully Tarson's got enough for a scan. He does have enough for a scan in the bank, so unless he drops a mule, uh, he's got he's to be uh, anticipating that Banshee, though. He did see the starport. He did see the tech lab. But there he goes dropping those mules. So I don't know if he's going to have quite enough. To, he does not have enough for a scan, so if a Banshee goes in there all cloaked, it can cause massive, massive damage. He's going to need there, to get... There is a missile turret, though, Danny. I don't know if you saw it, but if the Banshee stays out of range like it is right now, uh, he's going to be SOL. And uh, here comes the entire army uh, as the Banshee is forced to pull back for a second. But uh, now he's cloaked up, and uh, as you were saying, and now everybody's completely helpless, and he's just going to start shooting that supply depot. Uh, so I'm, I'm not sure if I like that, but uh, that might be his best option right now. Yeah, absolutely. That missile turret was a really good place by Tarson. Maybe if he had pushed it over just a little bit, he could have prevented this little action from happening. Meanwhile, those Marines stemming up and pushing him out. out. So this Banshee has uh, been pretty effective. Six kills. He's a corporal. Also, the nice nice choice on the Banshee you saw. The second Banshee now attacking the uh, the uh, natural, and he's taking out us. He's just, just again, just out of range of the missile turret. The Marines stem up and come out there. They get a few shots, but in the end, it's, the Banshee uh, scoots away. No... Uh, with three kills, so oh, these ban this Banshee rest very, very effective. We saw the Banshees come out for Tarson last game. He did not, uh, you know, he was not as effective with them. So oh, that's one thing we saw from Goody in both games, and with the Banshee and the Hellions, that he was really, really effective at harassing the economy of his opponent. And I think that's what gave him the the advantage, allowed him to uh, be, to be able to afford to expand to that second time, and then just rocket past in the income. So. Oh, if he keeps that up, uh, Tarson's going to need to do something. He's got 15 units lost to 3, 750 to 315. We do see a medevac here for Tarson. Tarson looks like he's just going heavy. MMM, a nice classic, old, a little bit of older build. You almost always see siege tanks, but uh, he's going to go heavy marines, marauders, and medevacs. He's going to put a siege tank in, in the, or two in there for spice, no doubt. Uh, so I, th I kind of like this choice of build. With the stem pack and proper usage, he can really counter a heavy uh, siege tank build by... Uh, Goody with just pure mobility. Yes, he can, and uh, I wonder if Goody... It doesn't look to me like Goody's planning on moving out anytime soon. Goody is getting his natural expansion nice and saturated up right now, though, queuing up five SEVs there, as well as uh, queuing up five SEVs at his main to head on over there. And uh, Goody, uh, looks like this Reaper from Tarson has just been breaking down these rocks in the smiley face da zone down in the south. Immediately gets taken out by those siege tanks in siege mode, though, and uh, that Reaper actually busted through the smiley face zone on the left, and he was trying to head in there on the right, so we might get the death zone that we desire, Danny. Oh, yeah, they see that medevac coming. He's full up with Marines, probably going for a uh, vicious drop into the main of Goody, no doubt. We see a... Uh I don't know what that SCV from Tarson's doing. Maybe he's deciding he's going to expand. Yes, he is. He's going to expand into this zone right here. And he's going to say, I'm going to be the one who gets the double expand here. There's so nice choice by him. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. I guess I'm wrong. That act that uh, that is actually Goody's uh, command center that's set up to be he built. But he's going to have a nice surprise when he sees Tarson's SCV. Maybe we'll see some hot SCV on SCV action here. Yes, we do. I love it. Fusion cutters getting in Tarson. there. Tarson dropping down all kinds of Marines there in the back of Goody's base, immediately thwarted though by these Marines, Hellions, Siege Tanks, as well as that Missile Turret, and uh, they did some serious damage to a Supply Depot, but in the end they only killed a couple SCVs. Sorry to interrupt you there, Danny. Looks like we had some simultaneous action. Yeah, absolutely. Yours was just a bit more important though, so good good on that. And in the end though, uh, Goody was, you know, he's been very, very reactive and great at stopping pushes and uh, drops like that, so you gotta give credit for that. Meanwhile, while uh, Tarson is taking down these rocks while he's moving in with his other force, or he's taking down that missile turret. And so he's kind of doing a little two-pronged attack here. I wonder if I expect him to move into the back while moving into the uh, natural at the same time. I'm going to do my best to keep uh, an eye on both. 
Oh, so we're, uh, we're in the, you know, Tarshan, is, he's, he's nice and sieged up in here, but he is kind of uh, blocked in. So it'll be interesting to see what he just does. He's got his own medevac here full of Hellions. When, uh, basically, they get spotted by those Marines, so I don't know exactly what he's planning to do with them. Perhaps a drop into the uh, natural would be my best guess. The rocks are down. The Marines are moving in. They're completely uh, unopposed right now. Oh, uh, Goody should probably respond to this rather quickly. Yeah, I wonder exactly what he's gonna plan. his plan is. Well, there is a drop at the natural. Gods, drop it in. Oh my gosh, Marauders, Marines being dropped down. Oh no, the siege tanks are going to melt him. Good choice by Tarson, pulling up, moving out immediately there, abandoning uh, on that plan. And uh, also, I like the siege tank drop down in the center of Goody's uh, main mineral line. That's very nice. However, we got Hellions with pre-igniter upgrades, trying to roasty toasty up this natural of Tarson, running immediately into the siege tanks of Tarson, however. And uh, Hellions don't fare too well against those Marines and Marauders going to try to do, deal with these hel this remaining Hellion here on the left-hand side, take him down immediately as Goody's medevac is forced to pull out. So I guess we got uh, what I was wishing to see this game, Danny, with lots of medevac drops and Banshee harass. Good job by both players utilizing uh, the disadvantages and advantages of this map with that air. Yeah, absolutely. I'm really Just a really, really cool, exciting game right here. Just lots of bouncing around, lots of uh, just little pokes at their uh, opponent's defenses, trying to just keep them off guard and keep them falling behind. Here we saw uh, the uh, Tarsus tried to move in the back again. Meanwhile, Goody pushes him out. He's now building a wall of supply depots. Good choice there, there just to uh, slow down Tarsus if he decides to push in, in that direction. Meanwhile, Tarsus' whole force is moving out, out across the map. I'm thinking he's going for, or what he hopes is an FTW push, at, le at least into that natural here. God, well, I mean, the huge difference between these army comps right now is those 16 Marauders that uh, Tarson has. Those are really going to come into play to take down Siege Tanks. I'll tell you what. Also, he's got 27 Marines, uh, which is uh, a lot more than the 15 Marines of Goody. But there are 10 Hellions from Goody with pre-igniter upgrades. So if they can get in there and get in the game, they can roast up some bio units with no problems whatsoever. I think Goody is nice and defended up the, the way he has set up his base right now. And I don't really see Tarson being able to effectively use uh, Siege Warfare. He's gonna have to inch up slowly, bit by bit. But uh, Goody has done some nice placement and nice anticipation. Yeah, absolutely. I really like that. Meanwhile, Tarson is seeing that himself only. He's like, I don't think I can move in, but I will use this opportunity to set up shop out here while uh, expanding. Basically doing what Goody did last game and getting that second expansion, which can give you that huge economic boost, which in the end allows you to reinforce better and, you know, win the game through, you know, vast numbers. And here we go, a huge encounter in the middle here. Oh god, look at this giant force from Goody. It's Apocalypse. All these siege tanks caught out of position. Stemmed up Marauders, though. Gonna try to get in here and do something. Pre-igniter upgrades on those Hellions, making a huge difference right now. Point defense drones dropping down from that Raven by Goody, making a huge difference, re mitigating all of that damage from Tarzan's Marauders. Uh, that was complete annihilation. Uh, in my opinion, by Goody, really taking down Tarson's army there, pulling up that unit's loss tab right now. 5,800 lost by Tarson, only 4,800 lost by Goody. So bl both players have sustained lots and lots of damage. Uh, one thing to note right now, though, Danny, is that, Good is that Tarson has uh, two additional expansions up, a total of four bases mining. Uh, so that's going to come into play here as we move into late game. Just can altercation after altercation. Siege Warfare Goody just has a boatload of siege tanks hiding behind these bushes here in the center of the map. And those are going to be really tough to deal with, especially with that air up there giving vision. Yeah, absolutely. And Tarson tried to move in with his Marauders. He got he got one or two siege tanks with a quick... He tried to do the quick stem, s snipe, and run out. out. You know, because Marauders can take a few shots. They're, they are pretty armored. Not, you know, not super armored, but they're alright to take a few shots, but so many siege tanks, he did lose a fair number of them. Looking at unit loss, we're pretty even. Meanwhile, Tarson's picking up some siege tanks. I wonder if he's going to put them on the high ground here. That would be a pretty slick move there, Aaron, really help him get a little control. But unfortunately, like you said, the uh, air unit's giving vision of that high ground, so oh, it's not as uh, super effective as he would hope. But like you said, with the extra expansion, he's got 1,800 to 1,200 with the minerals. Nice draw use of the uh, auto turret there by Goody and the